I'm off to climb Ben Lomond, which is a mountain in Scotland. Now out the bath and the chips and cheese have arrived. The chances of it raining in Scotland is high. You don't want to take that risk. <laughs> like a mountain goat waiting for me. Everybody is up for a chat. <laughs> so I've decided that tomorrow I'm going to go for a walk up uh, Ben Lomond. <laughs> You're so annoying. Just leave that in. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> I shouldn't have even, I shouldn't have said that I'm going to film it because he wouldn't even hear me otherwise. So I'm just making my lunch because tomorrow I'm going to climb bit. Stop it! No, don't. I'm just making my lunch because, for tomorrow, because I'm going to climb Ben Lomond. So, just kind of gather things out the fridge. I'm going to make some bagels with cheese and tomato. And maybe I'll do one also with peanut butter and jam. So I'm actually going on my own with Cookie. First of all, it is like um, one hour drive up past Glasgow. No, more than that, an hour and a half. Do I have petrol? Yes, full. And then it's like, I don't know, four to six hour walk, depending what route you take. So we day out with Cookie. <laughs> I hope our wee legs can walk that far. But yeah, I'm gonna put the camera off now because I shouldn't drive and film. We've just arrived at the Ben Lomond car park and Jesus, that was a long drive. I didn't realise it was so far away. Been driving for like an hour and a half, um, but very fine, like there was no traffic and it's just when you get to like Loch Lomond and the roads get really turny and slow. Cookie's quite excited. We're going for walkies. We're going for walkies. We're going to go for walkies. Shall I unclip you? So I'm just going to pay for parking and then hopefully they have a toilet here and uh, yeah. Okay, so up to one hour is two pounds. Fuck. Vehicle all day, five pounds. I've got four fifty. What should I do? Maybe you can pay by an app. Hmm. So yeah, you can't pay by card, but I just asked somebody to swap my fiver for five pound coins and they did it, so thank you to them. Oops. <laughs> Done. So I've done my parking. I just want to get prepared, like give Cookie a wee drink and put my stuff away before I start. I have this like portable dog water thing. Here you go, have a wee drink. She's not thirsty. And I'm going to give her a wee treat as well. Because she didn't eat breakfast this morning. What's this? What's this? It's a good girl. And I'll have some water. Sunglasses on my head. A wee bit of lip balm. This is the cam, the cam bam from Mantle. And maybe I'll have myself a wee lint ball. 
Cookie, eat your steak. She's not eating it. Mm. Now I'm good to go. So I just had to stop because I had some SD card issues with the camera. I had to transfer everything to my phone and format it. So it was a bad start, but now we're good. And so many steps right now, I'm sort of breath. When you stop as well, like the midges get you and it's horrible. So I'm all itchy now. Ooh. Not very good views yet. Just green. He's in the bushes. So this is the path in the kind of early stages. You can see quite a lot of people, well you probably can, but there's quite a lot of people on the path there. It looks quite chilly, but I'm absolutely roasting. Seems like such a long way, all the way up there, past that peak. I hope Cookie can manage. I put my AirPods in to listen to a podcast, and then I started walking. I was like, what the hell am I doing? So, put them away. <laughs> she keeps running ahead and then <laughs> doing that like a mountain goat. Waiting for me. So, I think we're about halfway now. The view behind me is nice. I had to pick Cookie up because there was loads of cows. She was growling at them. So my t-shirt got all muddy. But so we path repairs. But I just walked by the guy, he's helping somebody find their dog. I'm gonna add a wee stone to the pile. What one? That's a nice one. Now. It's not a steep climb, but it's just steps. <sighs> Got a bit chilly, so I put my jumper on, but I'm going to again. It's going to take me forever to get up because I just keep stopping to take pictures. So we just got to the top. Yeah, the weather's quite nice. There's no wind up here. It's quite warm and the views are really good. I asked a few people on the way to take my picture. I'll actually put them in here so you can see them. Cheers, Cookie. No. So we climbed up the easy route which is a little bit lo oh, <laughs> which is a little bit longer, and we're coming down the hard route, which is like yeah, pretty steep. This bit's okay, but the bit at the top, I had to carry Cookie because I was a bit worried. That bit there actually. We're now on our way back down round the other side. It's shorter. I think it's only like five kilometers. Cookie, stick to the path. Stick to the path. I've only come across one other person and I've been walking for like, I don't know, like a good hour. Makes you think, imagine something happened. Like if I fell and twisted my ankle and couldn't walk. Quite scary, but... right now I can guarantee you he would be in that water sun has come out I think it's time to put my t-shirt on Cookie. 
Water, cookie, cookie. She's got her eye on a sheep. Cookie. One time I did the Three Peaks Challenge, which is Ben Nevis, Snowdon and Scaffold Pike. And I got the walking sticks for it. They were great. But yeah, it's quite heavy on the knees. I just hit 11 kilometers and yeah, I think just under three, uh, sorry, just under four hours, something like that. Not looking forward to the drive home, but I'll tell you what I am looking forward to. I'm getting chips and cheese tonight. So I'm now at 12 and a half kilometers and I think we're very near the bottom. It's like four and a half hours with a few stops. So maybe like walking time is like, I don't know, just under four hours. We're going down pretty fast now. You can see the sweat in my face. Every time I touch it, it's like really salty. So look, it's a little honesty box for Bill Ben Lomond Cottage. I'm definitely going to get some wee cakes. Obviously I had to buy a wee cake out of that. Honesty. I got Bounty Tiffin and I also got like a flapjack with white chocolate, which is in my bag. I'll give it to mom when I get home. I'm just wondering like, where am I going? I hope this leads to the car park. So we are back in the car. I'm just about to eat that little uh, thing that I bought. Cookie, please come up here. Because you can't go there while I'm driving. There you go. And I need to clip you into your seatbelt. Okay. We eat this wee thing. How cute is that? A bounty tiffin. That's exactly what you're needing. I mean, that was quite good actually. I'll tell you what I need actually. A coffee. But what's new there? Nothing. So, I feel like I should tell you about the walk, but I don't really know what to say. It got to a point on the way up that I was like, ooh, this is getting quite hard. I was like, oh, should I just turn around? I think it'd be in an hour and a half, and then I was like, oh, that'll be a three hour walk. Still a good walk. But I'm glad I just carried on because nothing better. I think that was my fourth time climbing Ben Lomond, or maybe third. You're not going to get bored of it, to be honest. Unless you do it every weekend. What else to say? Mm. I would recommend the route that I did. Up the easy one, down the hard one. I only passed one person going up the hard route. I stopped and chatted and she was like, is there another route? And I was like, yeah. But I think she'd only be already been walking for one hour. So... There's no point in turning back, obviously. I wouldn't like to do the hard route up. So I think when you're in the car park, the easy route is the one that's signposted from the car park. There's like a toilet kind of big centre bit and you go through it and it's like Ben Lomond that way and you just follow it. And the hard route, you have to go a completely other direction and I actually took a picture of the signpost so I'll put it on this now so that you know if you're about to approach the hard route but they both come to the same end so if you want to do like the hard route you can go down the easy route vice versa which is fine you have to bring your own water obviously the weather was perfect today the forecast was like 90% rain and there wasn't a drop of rain so feeling very lucky it's obviously like the middle of summer like end of July and it's roasting on the way up but see when you stop it gets cold really quick so you need to pack layers. And the chances of it raining in Scotland is high. You don't want to take that risk. <laughs> I did it in my trainers because obviously I'm just back for the weekend. It's fine, but it would probably be more comfortable if you had hiking boots. Everybody is up for a chat. <laughs> so cute. Mm. I walked past two people who had lost their dog. So. I would say be careful and to be honest I think that's everything I'm now going to drive back home I'm going to show you Cookie because she's fast asleep already 
Look at her feet. Oh my god, they are so dirty. <laughs> so Finally home. Just pulling into the drive. And the weather, oh my god, it is pissing it down. Cookie has slept the whole way. We're home now. Um, oh my god, I picked up some hitchhikers. <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs> That's so random of me. Two French girls from Lyon and Avignon, they were just standing on the side of the street and they had to go to Balmaha, which is just down the road, like what, 10 minute drive? And it was en route, so they were really friendly and it made that part of the journey go really fast. Oh my God, Cookie, look at the chair. Look. What do you have to say for yourself? You wanna go play with Rupert? You wanna play with Rupert? Where is he? <laughs> so I'm now out the bath and the chips and cheese have arrived. Oh, it's all wet. We're soggy. What? Hmm? You're filming that. It's fine. No, Rupert. Do you want to, should we eat them through there? I'm just going to show them on the camera. Oh wait, what the hell is that? What is it? Curry sauce. No. Vinegar? The camera battery just died. But I have to show you the chips and cheese for the vlog.